Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the surface landmarks of the thorax. Okay. We have multiple surface surface landmarks like that of the suprasternal notch. also called jugular notch okay it is palpable you can easily palpate our jugular notch this is this yeah this is the jugular notch okay so this is the level of the lower vertebra lower border of the t2 so this is at the level of level of lower border of T2 okay so it is important the jugular notch so if we palpate the jugular notch if you pass your finger then you will find out the tracheal rings you can palpate the trachea so supersternal notch is important to us then okay supersternal notch important is important to palpate the trachea Okay, very easy to palpate. You get the tracheal ring. Then, after this, we have the landmark sternal angle angle of Louis or Louis is essential to we know that sternal angle of Louis at the at this level we, we can get the coastal cartilage number two we can count the ribs so it is many uses counting counting ribs counting ribs that is very important and if you pass a horizontal plane there is the transverse thoracic plane this is a second rib second rib and this is the intervertebral disc between t4 t5 and if you pass the transverse plane from this sternal angle, we get the transverse thoracic plane, and this separates the this separates the superior mediastinum from the inferior mediastinum. Okay, that's very important to us. Then we go with one to number three, our landmark. Of the thorax is the jiffy sternal joint jiffy or jiffy sternal joint okay this is a is a primary cartilaginous joint and joint between the jiphoid process or jiphoid process and the and the lower part of the body of the sternum this is the Jeffy sternal joint. This is important, important because it is the the Jeffrey process. That the side we will get the costal margin, so we we'll get the infrasternal angle here. Okay, this is the infrasternal angle area this is important to us, and the Jeffrey sternal joint is at the level of the upper border of the ninth thoracic vertebra this part is the if you go posteriorly it is the level of the upper border of the ninth thoracic vertebra okay so we got the diaphragmatic joint then we we'll go to the coastal cartilages coastal cartilages okay this is an important landmark okay we can count the ribs from the sternal angle here second third fourth fifth you can go there 
and count the ribs. Our coastal margin is this structure. This is the coastal margin is formed by the 7, 8, 9 and 10th ribs. Okay. Coastal cartilages of the 7th, 8th, 9th and, and 10th rib. These are this forming the, the right coastal margin, left coastal margin. And this is the second rib. We can count the intercoastal space and rib from this level. Okay. This is the this is the left coastal margin, right coastal margin. This is the infrasternal angle important for CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Okay. And this area is called epigastric depression area, epigastric fossa area over the gyphoid process. Okay. And we have gone through these coastal cartilages. These are structurally hyaline cartilages. Okay. We got that. Now, another landmark is that our ribs ribs are the important landmarks rib number five or lump number number five of our surface landmark are the ribs ribs okay okay so ribs are important especially the posteriorly the scapula is covered by second to seventh, seventh rib. The scapula is covered by second to seventh ribs. Okay, important landmark. Okay, we got that. And the tenth rib is the lowest point of the coastal margin. Remember that tenth rib rib is the lowest point of the coastal margin. Of we got the rib important landmark, and tenth rib is at the level of the third lumbar vertebra. Okay. This tenth rib is at the level of level of third lumbar lumbar vertebra. Okay, we got the the surface landmarks regarding the ribs. Then we we'll also landmark with the thoracic spine, spine of the thoracic vertebra. Okay. That should be in our list number six. Okay, that is the spine of the spines. We can say spinous process processes of the thoracic vertebra. Thoracic vertebra. Okay, we can palpate the spinous processes if you. If you place your hand at the nape of the neck, first of all, we get the spinous process of the C7. We call it the vertebra prominence, C7, cervical vertebra. Then just below that, we'll get the first thoracic spine. Okay, so we got the first thoracic spine. Then third thoracic spine, third thoracic Spine, we can say spinous process of thoracic vertebra 3. Okay, spine is at the level of the root of the at the level of the root of the spine of the scapula. Okay, the, the root of the spine of the scapula spine of the scapula okay we got the the important landmark regarding the spinous process so we got third root at the root of the spine of the scapula and the seventh spine is 
at the level of the seven if you palpate here seven thoracic spine is at the level of the level of the inferior angle of the scapula angle of the scapula scapula we got the importance of thoracic spine okay we got the bony landmark now we'll go to the soft tissue landmarks okay Okay, nipple of the breast or mammary gland. Okay, it should be in the fourth intercostal space in the prepubertal gar girl or boys. Okay, but its location is variable depending on the status of obesity in, in, in an individual nutrition status as well as the age, lactating condition or postmenopausal condition so and also it there is an individual variation of the size of the breast or mammary gland so nipple location is not a good vertebral uh, landmark but we must know the nipple of the breast male female obese thin lean individual whatever it may be the dermatome is t4 it will never change location may be changed depending on the function and size but it is very important then another soft tissue landmark is the apex bead where you will get apex bead apex bead is palpated the left fifth intercostal space just medial to the mid clavicular plane and just nine nine centimeter lateral to the lateral to the mid sternal line or just place a place a fist and your fist the thumb tip will will determine the level of the apex of the heart so the apical pulse if, if it be apex beat okay that that actually reflects the the closure of the mitral valve so we have to know the location of the apex beat is in the left fifth intercostal space just medial to the mid clavicular line and also 9 cm lateral to the mid sternal line okay and is important it indicates the closure of the mitral valve okay we got that then our landmark is trachea trachea yes trachea is a tube it is multiple ring if you palpate the jugular notch between two clavicle We'll find out the trachea okay we got the trachea then we have the mid clavicular plane mid clavicular plane the plane is a vertical plane goes middle of the clavicle it goes to the tip of the nine costal cartilage go to the mid inguinal point okay so it goes through the middle of the it is called midpoint of the midpoint of the clavicle midpoint of the clavicle tip of nine costal cartilage important especially in case of gallbladder disease if you just put your thumb below the tip of the nine costal cartilage the person has gallstone or cholecystitis he or she will have pain there called the Murphy's sign okay tip of nine costal cartilage and mid inguinal point mid inguinal point okay we got the landmark okay that is the 
meet clavicular plane. There is a vertical plane goes from the middle of the clavicle going down not equal to non costal cartilage mid inguinal point important landmark then mid axillary line number five important landmark it is between the anterior axillary fold posterior axillary fold vertically down important to place the thoracostomy tube to do the thoracentesis okay so mid axillary line it is the vertical line between the anterior and posterior axillary fold then the scapular line again a vertical line that passes from the from the inferior angle of the scapula downward that is the scapular line okay these all are the all are the surface landmark of the thorax is the important for your clinical practice or your, your clinical anatomy so if you have any question please feel free to ask me please share the information with your friends and please support my channel please subscribe me have a nice day bye now